So the problem that we are facing uh, with this image is that I have used a wide angle lens for this. So I'm using the, the token 11 to 16 mm f 2.8. So I'm shooting this at 11 mm. That means I'm shooting it at the widest focal length on that lens. And of course, when you're shooting so wide, um, you start to get with some lenses, you start to get uh, distortions, especially on the edges. So if you look at the buildings here, uh, this and here they're just starting to curve inside a bit and they're just giving this angled look uh, which kind of gives the image a very distorted look and does not really look too natural and too good so how we can correct this is uh, you can just create a duplicate and when you uh, create this layer you just have to go to filter menu and just select this option called adaptive wide angle and this is a tool that is very, very easy to use. All you have to do is you, uh, by default, this particular tool here is selected. Um, and what you do is you just simply, you basically have to draw a line and you have to draw the line where uh, on a part which should have been straight, okay? So it can either be horizontal or vertical. We'll be seeing both of them. So for example, you can see that this building here is kind of, edging inwards right so let's so this is not a straight line anymore but if you were to look at this building with your own eye this would have been straight so what we can do is if i just press my mouse button left click and i draw this line right so i don't you don't have to hold your mouse button and i can i've just left my mouse button but to leave it you'll have to press it again so i'm just going to draw a straight line like this because this should have been straight to the eye right so i'm just going to draw this line and i'm going to leave this and then what you have to do is once you draw this line, right click on it and just select vertical. So you're telling this tool that this line should have actually been vertical. So when I do that, you will see that this building will uh, this building will straighten. As you can see now this building has straightened out, right? So let's look look for some other building now, which is so you can see if you probably look at this building here, it's it's kind of okay, but it's just slightly. Uh, angle towards the right side. So I'm just going to again draw this line. So try to, when you draw this line, try to be near the edge of the thing because that's where you'll be able to draw easily. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to click on verticals. You can see now this is completely straightened out. Um, then let's say probably this building here is just slightly angling towards the right. So I'm just going to draw. And if you just notice here, it most of the times is going to recognize the lens that you use. So this is the 1116 f2.8. And when you're drawing these lines, you sometimes may see the line being drawn automatically as a, as a slight curve. That's because uh, this tool is intelligent enough to know which lens you've used. So it draws the line according to the distortion that the lens has caused. Right? So if you do not understand that, that's perfectly fine. Uh, just keep drawing the straight lines. and. That's all you have to do. So do this so you can see our three straight lines and we have straightened out these buildings. Now, if you look at uh, this part here, so it's slightly edging or angling upwards. Now we'll have to use the horizontal line here. So what I can do is I can just draw this. And now if you notice the point which I was making, if you notice this line is not exactly straight, it's kind of getting that curved look. That's because this tool knows which lens I'm using and it's drawing the line according to the distortion that it causes, right? So I'm gonna just click on this. I'm just gonna click on horizontal. Okay, so got this line here and let's probably do it once more. Let's do it here. Just gonna click on. So you can use this for straightening your images also, but for normal straightening, you can just rely on your crop tool uh, to straighten out things. So this image now looks much better. And of course, when you are going to do this, what's going to happen is that um, ultimately you'll have to crop this image. So you will lose out some areas of the image, but that's the price you have to pay for uh, correcting the distortion. Okay. So, so this kind of looks fine now. So if I just click on Okay. So now what you're seeing is these the cropped areas underneath that you're seeing the original layer. So if I just hide this origin, this is basically what your image is and you have to crop in such a way that you get rid of these transparent areas. So I'm just gonna 
select settle here there and so of course you will lose the width and the height of the image but what you will get if I zoom in now is a much better straightened out image so and let's say if you don't want to do this if you don't want to lose out any of this image then of course if you have gone through the previous parts what you can do is for example I can just probably let's say first only crop to this much because it's okay if you lose out the sky because there's nothing important going on there but we let's say if you don't want to lose this building okay so what you can do is let's say pull it up till here and for these areas if it, if they're not too big what you can do is to kind of get them back or stitch them back you can use the content aware tool just like I've shown you in the parts below so let's see if that works here so what we're going to do is first select these areas then if you remember we went to fill uh, to select modify expand by four pixels so you just give it a taste of what you want and then you just use content aware that is edit fill and content aware so if you if this is new to you i suggest that you do watch the earlier parts in this series because that's where i've shown you how to do all this and i explained you how these tools work so you can see without cropping now i've been able to fill in that gap digitally you can let's put it that way so it just helps me preserve the width of the picture at least a bit so this part can be a bit tricky because there's a lot of stuff going on here as opposed to just water here so i can still give it a shot so just expand edit fill and continue let's see if this works so you can see it kind of did a pretty decent job Right, you can see you cannot really make out that this is being stitched and what has happened as a result of this is that I don't, didn't have to crop the width too much for my image and I've been able to get a straightened image without any distortions right so you get the best of the both both of the world so you have to know certain tools when you use adaptive filter to kind of do this but if the gap is too big then you will have to crop because sometimes the content aware tool may not be able to do a very good job if the gap is too big and the transparent area is too big right so i hope that you like this video and i will see you in part 14 next time don't forget to give this a thumbs up and to subscribe and bye for now